Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Did you guys know that you can make QR codes from inside of Flexi Designer versus Studio Edition for your BN220A? In this video, I'll be guiding you through a step by step process on how to make these various QR codes so that you can use them in your sticker and sign business to add some digital convenience to your products. Now, QR codes have been around for a long time. But if you've noticed in the past few years, they've become very popular and you see them popping up everywhere. The reason for that being is because it's a quick and easy way to share information. QR codes can hold phone numbers, URLs, links to web pages, websites, email addresses, and even locations for Google Maps. Over here, I have some examples on how you can use them or how they're being or how they're being used if you're not familiar with them, but I'm sure you've seen them everywhere. So let's start off with the phone number. I have all these already typed out, but what you would do is um, get your, click on your text tool, type out the phone number, and then click on the arrow, click on the phone number, go up here to text, and go down to QR code and select text to QR code. And so now this QR code is holding the telephone number. Make sure you have your Design Central window opened up and click on this little QR code looking icon. And under type, you wanna choose phone number. Now, when you choose phone number, when someone scans this QR code, it's gonna be for a phone call. So if you're, if your customer or you are wanting to share your phone number for them to call you, or even just to add to your to their contacts, it's gonna go directly to their phone. As a phone number. If you come back over here to the type and select SMS message, when someone scans this QR code, it's gonna go into their messaging app. It will not make a phone call. It will go to their text messaging app. The way that this can be used is for Apple Cash. So if someone has an iPhone and is accepting Apple Cash as a payment, this is a little sign that they can put up at their business or on their table at a craft fair so that people can scan their number directly into their messaging app and then they can choose to send them or to pay them with their Apple Cash. And then, so that's, it's just a very generic sign and you'd slap this on there. So that's just a little example of uh, how that can be used. Next up, uh, here is a, a URL. It just happens to be the one to my YouTube channel. So you would go to a web page, website, uh, copy the URL, come back in here and paste it. And then again, highlight it, go up to text, QR code, text to QR code. And then you will want to go over here, back to the little QR code. Under type, you're gonna select web URL. So now when someone scans this, it'll take them directly to that web page. So since this is 
uh, going to my YouTube channel page, I made a little example of of a sign that I could put up at a craft fair or maybe on the back of a of my business card. And so then people can go just directly to my YouTube channel. They don't have to type type it in. And that's just the convenience of the QR codes is people aren't having to type in for, you know, for our next example, like this web, uh, this email address, they can just scan the QR code and it'll take them to their uh, whatever mail, Gmail or whatever app they use for, for email. So again, you'll type in the email address, click on it, go up to text, QR code, text to QR code, come back over here to your design central and under type, you're going to choose email address. And so this is something that it's very popular on business cards and storefronts or even for this example that I made down here. This is a sign that you might see at crafts fairs so that customers can repurchase someone's products if they like them you can make this into a sign that they can display at their craft table or if there's a business that has a website also they can post this up in their brick and mortar the next one is a link to a location on Google Maps. The process for this is pretty lengthy. Uh, I can try and explain it, but there are videos on YouTube on how to get this URL for a location off Google Maps. So once you get it, come back in here, paste it, uh, select it, same thing, text, QR code, go back over here to type. And again, it's just going to be a web URL. When someone scans this in, it will take them to Google Maps. And then all they have to do is click get directions on the bottom and that's it they didn't have to enter any address it's just fast and simple one thing you will see also is little icons being put in the middle of the qr codes Now these QR codes will still be readable with a small picture in the middle. So just scan this with your phone and make sure that it is not too big to cover up the information. Over here under the QR code uh, tab in the Design Central, it has an error correction and I have it set up to the highest amount, which is 30, which kind of means that it's almost like an error, like a tolerance that it has for this picture being in the way so that it can still read it. But like I said, Try this, try scanning it with your, with the phone to make sure it works. 
uh, before you you print it you might have to make it just keep making it smaller until it works um it's usually um about a third of the height and the width so you so just cover up the middle with the small little um icon and you'll be fine